What's going on? This is Chris Ludacris Bridges. I am in the new Fate of the Furious movie. And I, if you haven't seen all of them, I got to take you through each particular movie one at a time, starting with the very first one. The Fast and the Furious. This is where it all began. Starting with the three main characters, Dom Toretto, Brian O'Connor, and Mia. A little bit about Dom, he represents strength and courage. He's just unstoppable. Brian, they didn't know he was a cop at first, but he is. Dom and Brian, they race. Dom wins the first race. Dom and Brian drink Coronas for the first time. Brian and Mia start dating. It's a beautiful love story that's gonna happen. This is where Letty is introduced and the friend Vince, who has some bad luck, but uh, we'll talk about that later in another movie. Brian and Mia end up saving Dom, Vince, and Letty because they're trying to hijack the trucks, but little do they know these truckers are armed and extremely dangerous. Dom finds out Brian is a cop. Dom gets angry. Dom and Brian race again. My man Dom gets injured. And at the end, Brian lets Dom go free. Too Fast, Too Furious. We introduce Monica Fuentes, the undercover agent, and my man Carter Verone, the drug lord. Monica recruits Brian O'Connor. Both of them go to recruit Roman Pierce. They go undercover together. Verone hires them to be his drivers. They have a police chase, and this is where the greatest character of all time is introduced, this guy by the name of Tej. That is me, ladies and gentlemen. He runs the street races. He's all about it, making a dollar. The police think they're you know, chasing Brian and Roman, and it turns out that they're not. I sent them on a wild goose chase. Verone boards this yacht. Fuentes becomes his hostage. Brian and Roman foil his entire plan and crash onto to the yacht. Verona's arrested, Fuentes is rescued, end of the story. Tokyo Drift, the third installment in the series. However, in the timeline, it takes place after Fast and Furious 6. We introduce Sean, who got expelled from school and had to go live with his dad in Tokyo. He had never drift raced before. DK, who's known as the Drift King. And my man Han, the garage owner and street racer. So Sean goes up against DK, loses terribly. Han teaches Sean how to drift. DK accuses Han of stealing. DK chases Han and Sean. And my man Han ends up getting killed in a car crash. Han's crash may later on be not what it seems. Sean and DK race. Sean wins the race. And then at the end of the story, my man Dom shows up and challenges Sean and says Han was family. Fast and Furious, five years after the first film. Letty and Dom are on the run. Letty is murdered in a car crash. Dom obviously investigates. Brian is now an FBI agent. Now you introduce the drug lord Arturo Braga, and then Giselle, who works for Braga. Brian and Dom look for Braga because they want to slit his damn throat. So Giselle recruits them to join Braga's team, and I'm talking about Dom and Brian. They're kind of undercover here. Dom and Brian steal Braga's drugs. Brian and Mia haven't seen each other in five years, so they finally hook up. Braga almost runs over Giselle, but Dom comes and saves her. Brian and Dom catch Braga after a car chase. They've been hunting this guy down the whole movie. So after all of Dom's goodwill and everything that he's done, you would think that he would go free, yet he's sent to prison. Fast Five, my personal favorite. Mia and Brian free Dom from a prison bus right off the top of the movie. It's the great way to start it. It starts off with a bang. They eventually work to steal a car from a train. They work with Vince. Vince comes back into the story. The car has a location of $100 million that belongs to who? The crime lord, Reyes. We all find out that Mia is pregnant. This has turned out like a soap opera. So they assemble a team. Han from part three. Myself and Tyrese from part two. Giselle from part four. It's like a superhero group. Now Luke Hobbs, diplomatic security service agent, he needs to arrest Dom, Mia, Brian, and Vince. So he's on the hunt. And I'm talking about the worst guy in the world you want looking for you. Luke Hobbs and Dom get into a fight. Hobbs eventually ends up arresting Dom. Reyes attacks. All of Hobbs' team and Vince are killed. Hobbs joins the team now. He's a part of our crew for revenge on Reyes. And if the story couldn't get any thicker, there's an epic heist and a chase with a vault tied to a car. At the end of the car chase, my man Hobbs kills Reyes. Right when Hobbs thinks he's gonna walk away with this big vault of money, ha, Dom and Brian trick him and they get away with it. And at the end, credit scene, there is a inkling that Letty is still alive. Fast and Furious 6, there's a guy by the name of Owen Shaw that is introduced, creating a dangerous device, so dangerous 
that Luke Hobbs is looking for Owen Shaw. What's the only way to find him? To recruit the team that helped him take down the individuals in the last movie, our team. Shaw performs a heist. Dom and our entire team are trying to stop him. And he has this amazing car that makes a bunch of other cars in his way flip over. So Letty arrives, shoots Dom. It's just confusion for the entire audience. We find out that something is going on with her. She has amnesia. So now she's working for the opposite team and doesn't remember Dom all the way. Shaw needs a computer chip to complete his device. But Shaw's crew, they steal a tank and they steal the chip, but Dom and crew catch him. Dom saves Letty's life from a tank crash. Letty joins Dom's team. Her memory is starting to come back. Shaw escapes and gets the chip. Damn. The crew goes to Shaw's airplane. There's a huge fight that's going on on the plane, cars driving around the side, but in the midst of those fights, Giselle dies to save Han's life, all in the name of love. Dom fights Shaw, gets the chip. Dom trades the chip to Hobbs for full pardons all the way around. <laughs> Furious Seven, Deckard Shaw. Owen Shaw's brother. He comes back for revenge. He killed Han in Tokyo Drift. It is revealed that we understand that now. Deckard blows Dom's house up. Dom goes to find God's Eye, a computer program that can locate Deckard. This chip and device is very, very bad in the wrong hands because it can basically locate anyone at any time. And someone else who's looking for God's Eye is a guy by the name of Mose Jaconde, mercenary who has God's Eye's creator, Ramsey. She is being held hostage. So the whole crew parachutes cars from the sky. We find Ramsey and she's the one who leads us to where God's eye is at. The whole crew goes to Dubai and there's this great action scenes of a car jumping from building to building and we finally get it and we locate Decker. So Jaconde chases the crew with the helicopter and drone because Jaconde really just wants to catch Ramsey who created this God's eye device and she could possibly create another one but he currently has it. And by the way, during this time, Dom and Deckard Shaw have an insane fist fight. Jaconde betrays Deckard. Jaconde shoots a missile at Deckard Shaw and a whole damn parking garage just collapses underneath him. Dom kills Jaconde with a bag of grenades. So we wipe this guy out of there, get him out. Dom dies, does he die? The whole audience thinks he's dead. Letty gets her memory back at the end. Letty wills Dom back to life. You know why? Because love conquers all. Oh. Deckard goes to jail and Brian retires. All right, everybody, my job is done here. Make sure you go see The Fate of the Furious. Great action scenes, great cars, great cast, and this sense of family. But this time around, Dom has gone rogue on us. Signing out, I'm Chris Ludacris Bridges, and I'll see you guys again soon.